Hi, welcome to MC University On Demand. My name's Eric, I'm one of the design engineers here at Matthews, and today we'll discuss basic dryer operation on a tower dryer with pinnacle light. We'll take a look at the appropriate way to start up, run, and shut down a tower dryer. Let's get started. Pinnacle Light is operated using a hybrid control system utilizing a PLC and HMI along with traditional relay based lights and switches. This means that while the HMI is used for monitoring and set point operations, manual switches are used to control the critical aspects of the dryer. This video will focus on what the individual switches are and when they should be used. The startup process is the same on an AccuDry and a TrueDry machine, but in this video we'll be using a Tower TrueDry demo unit. Before you begin, you should go to the high voltage cabinet and make sure that the disconnect switch is in the on position. To start, every switch on the remote cabinet should be in the off position. The first step to starting the dryer is to clear any active alarms. You can do this by going to the Alarms chapter and tapping the Alarms button to clear active alarms. If the CAL controller is in an alarm state, you can reset it by pushing in the High Limit and Air Pressure buttons simultaneously. This should clear all alarms except for the Master Control Relay. In order to clear this alarm, We'll turn the control power switch to the on position and then momentarily to the start position. You'll know control power is on if the light is illuminated. You should now turn on the fan before filling the dryer. We recommend you do this to keep the inside of the dryer clean of debris. So, go to your fan switch and turn it past the on position to the start position and then release it back to the on position. Next, go to the plenums chapter and verify your plenum set point. If you're unsure where to set this value, you can check your operations manual for a recommendation. If you have not already done so, you can now fill the dryer. You do this by turning the grain fill switch to the manual position. This will tell the dryer to begin calling for grain and to continue to do so until grain gets all the way to the bin switch at the top of the dryer. You'll know the dryer is full when the switch is no longer illuminated. Once the dryer is completely full, Go to the gas train and verify that all manual hand valves supplying fuel to the burner are open. We can now turn on ignition by turning the ignition switch to the on position. This will start the ignition sequence, which starts with a 7 to 10 second purge, and the light will illuminate once flame is detected. You should now turn the grain fill switch to the auto position. This adds a delay timer between the call for grain and when the motor is turned on. It'll prevent the motor from toggling on and off quickly and will increase your motor's lifetime. You'll want to verify that your discharge mode is set to manual and you'll want to check that you're happy with your discharge speed set point. If you're unsure where to start this value, you can check your operations manual for a recommendation. Note that on this demo unit, our discharge speed is red because there's no discharge motor attached, but on your machine the discharge speed should be green. Now go to your settings chapter and check your alarm set points as well as your operational set points. Once you're happy with all of these values, you can turn on the takeaway by turning the takeaway switch to the start position. This will turn on any third-party equipment attached to the outlet of the dryer. 
Depending on what equipment is attached, it may take some time to ramp up to speed. Once the equipment is up and running, you can turn on the metering. This will begin turning the discharge sweep and grain will start to exit the dryer. The dryer is now running. You'll continue to monitor your set points and toggle your operating mode from the HMI throughout the day. When you're done drying for the day and it's time to shut down the dryer, you can begin the shutdown sequence by turning off your ignition. Some users like to leave the fan and the takeaway on for 3-5 to five minutes to let things cool off, but we don't recommend you do this for more than 5 minutes. At that point, you can turn off your metering. You'll want to leave your takeaway on for a few moments to let grain purge out, at which time you can turn off your takeaway and turn off your grain fill. You can now also turn off your fan and control power. You'll notice that when you turn off control power, an alarm will appear. This is normal, just accept the alarm. You may want to reset your CAL controllers. You can do this by pushing in the high limit and air pressure buttons simultaneously. This will prevent nuisance alarms on startup. You've just shut down the dryer in a way that's easy to start up the next day. That's it for this video. Today, we've talked about how to start up, run, and shut down a tower dryer with Pinnacle Light. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for a future video, you can email us at media at matthewscompany.com. As always, thanks for watching.